The following is a short video series on Casca from Berserk. I don't know how many parts this series is going to have but I'll hopefully be able to cover all of Casca's character, so here's part 1. Casca, like Guts, is a struggler as well. Now before you go into the comments saying that no she's not, hear me out. Her struggle is different from Guts because unlike Guts, she doesn't cope with the pain. The pain that she endured was so overwhelming to her that she became completely insane. Hers wasn't the will of Guts. Casca, even though she was strong, didn't have the kind of willpower that our protagonist had. The only person that is to be blamed for her mental demise is Griffith. From the Golden Age arc, we know that Casca had an outright godly appreciation for Griffith. It was so much so that she looked at him as someone that was out of reach for a commoner like her. This very fact, coupled with Griffith's conquests and his ascension to a noble during the same arc, was what made Casca revere him even more. The respect that Casca had for Griffith, however, was lost in more ways than one during the eclipse. To truly understand my point of view on Casca being a struggler, you need to think in the shoes of Kentaro Mura and psychology. Both Guts and Casca suffered during the eclipse without a doubt, but Miura gave us two different ways in which people cope with PTSD. It's not uncommon for people to shut themselves off after a traumatic event. Some become angry at the world and move on to drugs to numb the pain, while others cut themselves off entirely, silencing themselves from the world rather than cope with reality. Casca is an example of this case but rather taken to its extremes. A little side note but Guts' way of coping with the pain wasn't just that of pure anger and hatred, it was also escapism. More specifically, the escapism that was present within him during the post-eclipse Black Swordsman arc. So technically, Miura gave us three ways. So yes, I believe that my point in Casca being a struggler is correct. Another point that I want to talk about is that the moment she regained her sanity, Miura showed how much of a struggle it was for her to remember the past, which shows how much of a gravity the eclipse and everything that it contained had on Casca's mind. In the next video, I'll continue this series, so if you like this video, then do subscribe. Thanks for watching.